I lived in a beautiful chalet abutting the woods overlooking Hunter Mountain. I was working for the Catskill Mountain Foundation. I was the benefit chair of their big benefit gala, and I had spent the whole day planning and getting ready and the food service and the silent auction and the live auction and the details. You get it. All day, five o'clock, <gasps> I've got to get home. Just enough time to get dude it up for the event. I come up, driving up the hill to my drive, to my house, and I see a teenage bear <laughs> playing with my bird feeder that it had knocked down off my porch. So I did what any indignated righteous woman would do. I screamed, Bear Bear! Bear Bear! <laughs> and the bear ran into the woods. <sighs> Go up the stairs. I notice, as I'm opening my door, that the window to my kitchen had been pulled open. So I, you know, I'm trying to get it closed, can't do it. All right, what happened? Walk inside, garbage, oh. all over the kitchen. Oh my god. And the bear had come through, and the window was probably about three by three, not very big. And it was a teenage bear, so it was kind of a little bit bigger than me. And there were two wine glasses, <laughs> my favorite crystal wine glasses, turned over, not touched. <laughs> a pretty discerning bear. <laughs> and then I noticed that I go through the garbage and it had pulled apart some old Galsberg. Wow. This bear knows what it like. <laughs> and my closet had been pulled open, and a box of crackers had been. I went, wow, cheese and crackers. This bear goes for the place. So now I'm realizing, oh wait, no, I can't. just enough time, get dressed, go back to the, the benefit, I'm not the benefit, and I'm really nervous. Anybody who's anybody is at this event, including our very favorite and lovable Ranger Rick, Ranger Rick from the Catskill, um, Park. And I go up to him and I said, Ranger Rick, there was a bear in my house and the window's open and he went, oh, that bear's coming back. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, that bear's coming back. I'm like, oh. And he said, we better bet, you know, what, well, what we'll do is we'll go over and we'll close the window. And I'm like, oh, thank God. So we go to the woman who's the director. Now I'm in charge of the event and he's a very important person that needs to be there to greet people. She said, you are not going. You are not going, and she's having a fit, and she's convulsing, and we're like, okay, 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 okay. We'll stay the whole night. I'm like, the bear's coming back. The bear's, the bear's coming back. So I finally, 11 o'clock, we clean up, everything's done. I go home. Lo and behold, the bear had come back in. Lo and behold, the glasses are still in their hands. And this time, it had gotten a vat of homemade granola. So, again, we're trying to get the window closed. I call up the Catskill police. Hello! I need to get my window closed! This is not their purview. They do not enter in bears. This is not what they do. So then I remember, I do have Ranger Rick's number. So I call Ranger Rick. Of course, he'll come over. He closes the window. We're all good. No more bear. Moral of the story, if you don't want bears in your house, don't make homemade granola. <laughs>